Today we are working on Excel Lesson 25 Apply. So this is the file you should have open. Go ahead and save it with your initials at the end to wherever you normally save everything. And then in step three it says to group the sheets. So hold down the shift key and click on charts. So now you see all three of them have a green line underneath them so they're grouped. Inserting a header with your name in the left date code in the center page number in the right and then change it back to normal view and then it wants us to ungroup the sheets so I'm going to right click and ungroup them Step four says click the charts sheet tab. So down here we're going to click charts. So this is what's displayed. Step five says select the horizontal axis for the top chart and format it so it displays without access labels. So if I click on this chart and this little plus box right here, I'm going to click on that. And we want it to without access labels. So right here where it says access, we're going to click this arrow. We're going to uncheck primary horizontal, and that took the labels off the bottom. Step six on the same chart, display data labels. We're just going to check the data labels box, so you have numbers there now. Step seven, use the format data labels task pane to show the category name only. So I'm going to click on one of those and so you can see they're all selected. Then I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click format data labels. When I do that this box is going to open up here on the right and it wants category names only. So I'm going to select category name. I'm going to deselect the value and the show leader lines. So now you see that it has the names. Step 8 in the format data labels task pane under text options. So Right here where it says text options, we're going to click that. And then we're going to click the text box. We want to change the text direction to rotate text, all text 270. Right here where it says text direction, we'll click the down arrow, rotate all text 270. Step 9 says select the croissant data label and move it just to the left of the top of its data point. So right now all of the labels are selected. We just want the croissant one selected. And then we're going to just move it a little bit to the left of that cylinder. Step 10 says to delete, delete the legend. So clicking this little plus. I'm going to, where the legend is, we're going to uncheck the, that so it deletes that legend. I could have also just selected it and hit the delete button. Either way will work. Step 11 says add a chart title above the chart that reads data, daily sales. So right here where it says chart title, we're going to hit the arrow. We're going to select above chart. And we want that to say daily sales. Step 12 says add an orange accent to lighter 40% fill to the chart walls. We need to make sure that we select just the chart walls, not the entire chart. So with that, so if you click right in the middle, it should be there. Over here on the format wall, on the wall options, on the fill, click this down arrow. We're going to change this to a solid fill. And the color we want is orange accent 2, lighter 40%. So we're going to click this arrow. Orange accent 2, lighter 40% is right here. You can see just the chart walls were affected. Step 13 says select the data marker, which is the cylinder for the croissant data point and change its fill color to green accent 6 darker 50 percent. So I'm going to click and I have to click twice so just that one is selected. I'm going to go to solid fill, click the down arrow on the color 
and the one we want is green accent six darker 50 percent and you can see just that cylinder is now green step 14 says scroll down if necessary this is a reminder that there's a department chair meeting in the media center at this time so now we're going to be working on this chart so select that whole chart go up here to the chart tools design tab and we're changing the style 10 chart style so here's your chart style so click the down arrow and style 10 is this one right here step 16 says change the position of the legend to right so I'm going to click the plus here on the chart elements down here where the legend is I'm going to click this arrow and we're going to select right and that moved everything to the right step 17 says add a rotated vertical axis title that reads unit sales and increase the font size to 16 so up here where it's got add chart element we're going to click that we're going to go to axis titles primary vertical is what we want I'm going to triple click on it I'm going to change it to 16 point we want it to say unit sales and I can click away from that unit sales is 16 point 18 says select the chart area and use the format chart area task pane to add a pink tissue paper texture fill so with the entire chart selected if I go over here to fill in line we're going to go to picture or texture fill and we've got to click where it says texture click the down arrow and we're selecting pink tissue and we're 25% transparency so we're the transparency right now it's at zero we're going to change that to 25 step 19 says scroll to compare the charts this is what they should look like step 20 says add alternate text for the unit sales chart on the charts tab so with this ch tab, uh, chart selected I'm going to right click down here where it says edit alt text I'm going to click that it's going to open up this box and I'm going to type column chart showing unit sales for each product and then I can close that close this and 21 says, with your teacher's permission, print the chart sheet, which my class does not do. Save and close the file and exit Excel and submit it to be graded. And this completes apply number 25.